So next from Chloe from New Zealand, we got this. Uh, their packaging is really good. Like this soft touch, full color printing. They're saying removes more than 99.83%, which is very specific. When you see that specific number, you're like, that's somebody who took one test and is marketing to you. Um, yeah, we, we'll see if, if that holds up here. They're saying it's GB2626-2019. So they're saying this is a KN95. Dude, this pattern. It's got an embossed pattern on it. Whoa. Hey, just when you think you've seen everything. This is so weird. What in the... Okay. So I call this diver mask because it uses like polypropylene as the ear loops. We'll get into that in a second. This is very weird. So the way they make this mask is they make it separate and then they put it together. Yeah, but how does that nose wire actually work? Yeah, the nose wire wouldn't do anything. Nothing. So weird. Whoa. What the? Dude, this is weird. Just when we think we've seen it all. Chloe from New Zealand coming through. Wow, okay, this is so weird. And they're claiming it's a KN95, which is absolutely not. All right, we'll put her in. That was a lot of work. All right, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 mask on this, can I see this? On this thing that claims to be a KN95 they've got on the box, GB2626-2019 right there. They're also claiming another standard, 32610, 2016, which is a surgical mask standard, I think. I don't know that one. And then this one is the, I guess this is a New Zealand standard, 1716-20, or colon 2012 CE. Okay, this is not a KN95. Okay, why do we know this is not a KN95? Well, first of all, it doesn't say CAN95 on it. It doesn't say GB2626-2019. It is a kind of a beautiful mask. I don't like the diaper mask styles. I mean, look at this, like it's so hard to open. I don't get it. People, some people really like it though. They claim it's like very, ah, that poked me in the eye. Okay, so it's got two, a nose wire here and a nose wire here but it doesn't have the nose wire go across the middle. It's just here and here. Why have a nose wire here? What's the point? What does that do? It's just like, so it says it has a nose wire and it's plastic anyway, so it's not like it matters. This is an unnecessary expense. This is someone, whoever made this mask, does not understand what masks are for. Like this doesn't make sense. It's just like, what? Like this is crazy. Like look, they've got half a nose wire there, half a nose wire there. It doesn't go across. The whole point of a nose wire is to put across it. Unique New Zealand scent. That's what it says on it. So it's supposed to smell like New Zealand. I'll be the judge of that. It does smell like a kiwi. Well, they got one thing right, that's for sure. So here's why I don't like the, the diver masks. They just break really easy. They don't really... This one's stronger than normal, I would say. Okay, diver mask, weird. Beautiful like an etched pattern. I don't feel like it's breathable at all. When I really hold it down, <coughs> it's really hard to breathe through. And the nose wire being separate like this makes no sense whatsoever. So let's test the fabric. What does the fabric say? Uh, actually, 96.88. That's surprising, 96.88, but 193.5 Pascal. So it is very hard to breathe. I don't know what this fabric is made out of. This is very interesting. Weirdest mask of the year, 2023. There it is, folks.